This is the site of Hesselhead Castle and Hesselhead Loch, not far from Gateside in North Ayrshire. The Lochan was drained and later a curling pond built on the site. Hesselhead Castle was the home to Alexander Montgomery, who was famous for his poem, The Cherry and the Sleigh. There's practically nothing left of the castle itself, just piles of stones, and here and there a few dressed stones that seem to have certainly come from the building. Castle site in a ruin for many years. You can tell that this is the site of a, a castle or of a um, planned landscape from these yew trees that are here and other specimen trees, rhododendrons. Hesselhead became part of the Traian or Trian estate and the castle was landscaped as a sort of folly. There are some examples, some photographs of the castle in that state with beautifully manicured lawns, well-kept paths and so on around it. Until recently, the remains of the castle were more obvious. Sadly though, this path has been created through the site and now very little is, can be made out of what was the castle. They do have these occasionally blocks of mortared stone. This is close by to the Hesselhead Wildlife Rescue Centre and part of the road here, the surface beneath it has got cobbles, so we're from the old castle's days. This is a view from the site of Hesselhead Castle, looking across towards Trian or Trian. There are some old brick and furrow marks in the fields. And down below is the site of the, the loch, which at one time may have completely encircled the castle. There is still some open water where the curling ponds were at a much later stage. There's still a substantial amount of water escaping from here. You can hear the drains running into the local burns. In the distance there, we're looking towards Cuff Hill and uh, the old farm up there, plus the mill at, at um, Coldstream. So Coldstream Mill was at one time held by the castle. It was part of the Baron. 